We need help if we're going to stop the Injustice Society. We need to form a new JSA. And you've obviously already started. I remember the first time I ever met Jeff after booking the role, he kind of like pitched the first season to me. He gave me like an episode by episode breakdown. And then he goes, and this is what I'm thinking for season two. Season three, I have this idea. Season four, I still have a pretty good idea. And season five, I, I haven't thought of anything yet, but I'm pretty sure I can come up with something. He's like, actually I can't. I'm like, okay, Jeff, let's get through season one. Okay, I'm in, but slow down. The 19 year old's like, can we just calm down for a second? <laughs> I never thought Pop-Tart Skittles and Hot Fudge would go together, but this is absolutely delicious. I read the script and then I met with Jeff and he showed me a couple little like simulated action sequences that it was going to be the opening of the show and it looked incredible. And he sort of gave me the backstory that it was based on his sister and it was his first comic and it was such a passion project and you could feel his heart. He just has a huge heart. We need someone with skills and heroic traits. I always admire those guys. It's like, you know, Mike Judge, where I feel like they found something, you know, when they were younger, like 10 or 12, that they were really into, like comic books. Or, you know, I'm sure it happens to musicians too, and they start playing the guitar, where I feel like those people can get told, like, hey, you gotta grow up, you can't do this forever, whether they're 18 or 20. At a certain point, those people get told, like, you gotta find a real job, so is, thoughtful and and kind and creative as Jeff is. I also feel like he's got kind of a, a very rebellious and kind of determined streak. So from my perspective, really fun to go to work for somebody like that. And especially just, it's always so cool when someone's so knowledgeable, you know, about something that you know nothing about, but they're interested in. I'd say like, well, I thought this guy lost his power. So Jeff would say, he did lose them, but he got them back because he went into a time continuum and then this happened. You're like, you can't get this guy to say, I don't know. Yeah, when he was trying to explain to me how there's like infinite Earths in the DC <laughs> universe, I was like, okay, stop, this is so much. Yeah, you'd feel like you were talking to Carl Sagan. <laughs> See, he's smarter than you think.